What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and today I'm excited to share with you an unboxing of the GeForce RTX 3080. This is our flagship card for the new GeForce RTX 30 series, our second generation of RTX. The GeForce RTX 30 series brings our biggest ever generational leap. You'll see up to two times the performance of last generation's GeForce RTX 2080, and it's powered by the all new NVIDIA Ampere architecture. This new architecture features second generation ray tracing cores for a huge boost in ray tracing performance. It also features third generation tensor cores to do AI processing for features like DLSS and NVIDIA broadcast. The GeForce RTX 3080 also has new streaming multiprocessors and 10 gigabytes of the world's fastest graphics memory, GDDR6X. So you'll see a huge boost in performance for all types of games with and without ray tracing. A quick look at the box, you'll see a very sleek design with GeForce RTX 3080 on the front and the side with the bottom listing the PC requirements. Now, let's crack this open. This is a two slot card that is 11.2 inches long, but you'll quickly notice the design is unlike anything that you've seen before. The new design provides the best possible thermal performance with the revolutionary new dual axial flow through. It is up to three times quieter and it keeps the GPU up to 20 degrees Celsius cooler than the previous generation RTX 2080. The front fan pushes hot air out of the extra large bracket vents and the individually shaped fins help direct the airflow for better cooling. The backside fan draws air through the card and out the top and rear chassis exhaust. This is possible because the PCB is shorter, which lets air flow through. You'll notice the card also has the new 12 pin power connector. This facilitates the power with less space, further enabling better airflow through the fins. Don't worry though, you don't need a new power supply with a 12 pin cable. Included in the Founders Edition is an adapter that converts two standard 8 pin power cables to the 12 pin connector, which as you can see here takes up significantly less space. Lastly, let's take a look at the ports. You'll see three DisplayPort 1.4a and the new HDMI 2.1 port, which enables 4K at 120 Hz on this card with a single cable, which is something I have been personally looking forward to. 